people saw this movie in tuxedos, what have we come to? If I could pick three words to describe Minions The Rise of Gru, the first two would be minimal and effort, and the third would be for a Minions movie. This movie is a slap in the face to Minions lore. Vector is 20 years old, yet this movie tries to convince us he was born the same era as Gru. Now, I wouldn't really call Gru's relationship with Dr. Nefario a mystery, but I still would have liked to see, you know, how it all started, since this is meant to be the Gru origin movie and everything. This would have been especially hard to convey since Gru and Dr. Nefario already met in the first Minions movie. Well, apparently the real way they met is, um, they just kind of bumped into each other at a store one time, and then Gru went up to him and was like, hey, wanna work for me? Uh, you a, like, 20, 30-year-old man and me, the 11-year-old boy, wanna, wanna work for me? And he was like, sure. Something even weirder is how the movie already is about Gru hanging out with an old supervillain and them bonding and becoming friends and riding off into the sunset and everything, except it's not Dr. Nefario. But why though? So Gru's whole, like, thing in the movie is that he wants to join this team of bad guys called the Vicious Six, but they don't want to let him in because he's a kid. You know, a kid who stole the queen's crown when he was four years old? So if Gru perfected his whole villain act at age four, then why did it take him a full eight years to quote-unquote rise? But I guess this does support my headcanon that Gru is the only smart person in the Minions universe, and that's why he's the only master they haven't killed. You know, this whole review, I've been talking about everyone but the titular minions. So what are they up to? Well, they meet an old lady and she uh, trains them because, uh, reasons. And, uh, yeah. The minions need to find their inner flame or whatever. Do they undergo some kind of character arc to find it? No, they just kinda decide they found it. You might be thinking, of course the minions don't have a character arc, they're minions. Well, you're not wrong, but you're not entirely right either. The first Minions movie was about exactly that. Minions and their journey to find a new master. First, they gotta get to Orlando, then they gotta earn Scarlet's trust. You know, they have the clear goal of finding a new master, but with other goals inside of that goal. So, to recap, Minions The Rise of Gru did not feature any Minions or any Rising of Gru. I really need to make better videos. You summoned me, my liege. The time has come. A new herald has been chosen. You must find him, O Of course, my master. The end of time. He's all.